I mean, I've got respect for you, but if that's all you're going to do to get downfield, man, that's kind of sad. He was doing good, like, driving and stuff, but really, just live streaking it. I know I'm going to lose, but hey, I'd like to do it in a, like, meaningful manner. Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game with the boss. Dick oh, Lane. Let's see what Night Train's got up his sleeve today. Does he have a big hit fumble? What, what's going on? Or bad plays potentially. Oh yeah, my opponent tried to give me a lot of CJ2K out here. Trying to run some counters. Third down and one. Mecklenburg shut it down. That's going to bring up an early big play here because he's going to run hurry up. Fourth down and two and somehow he gets that by Mecklenburg and finds Vernon Davis for the first down. Next play he comes out running PA end the round. Pressure coming so he throws it deep in. Thankfully there's no face catching on that play so we can move on with our Watch the second down, but he is going to hit a nice little curl route here to, I believe, Vincent Jackson to move the chain. So early on, we're trying to get a feel of what he's doing. A lot of halfback counters as Chris Johnson breaks the tackle, but here comes Night Train Lane. Who we lined up that hit, and Night Train just hit the deck. Chris Johnson must use his 150 strength rating to short drop Night Train, I guess. So that's going to bring up a third down and three. He's looking for Vernon, but he's going to find Troy Palomalu instead. And Palomalu, look at that hair flowing in the wind. He's out trying to take it all the way eventually brought down by Kaepernick but not before taking that INT all the way to the 13 yard line as we try to get a run game of our own established when Le'Veon Bell isn't going to do much second down didn't feel comfortable with that play so we just call our timeout there I'm looking for Vernon but I didn't like what I saw there and you know, I wanted to hit Vernon once he oh, went to the left, break. but, you know, pressure came through, and now since third down and 11, because of that, once again, pressure coming in, but we're able to roll out with Rivers, finding Santana Moss, but Moss drops the ball in coverage. Defense alignment actually covered Moss and forced the drop there, so that was kind of weird, but we end up selling for a field goal nonetheless. You know, Santana Moss isn't known to have catching traffic, so we have to pay the penalty for that. He's more known as a speed guy. As Mecklenburg gets the sack early on, he's making some impact plays. Second down and 18, he's going right at Night Train, who didn't really do anything, which is good, I guess, because he didn't get the catch. So third down and 18, he's trying to face catch again, but this time, that's Dick Lane's pick, and Dick Lane is trying to reverse field, breaking a tackle downfield to the 22-yard line is Night Train right there. Nice little pick, you know, you try to test Night Train, try to face catch it. Night Train got the pick, can't ask for anything more from the cornerback as we're running with Le'Veon Bell, trying to run to Larry Fitzgerald's side, because that 4th of July, Larry Fitz blocks like a champ. He also catches the ball pretty well, too. Pretty decent receiver, you know. Second down and two. We try to run with Le'Veon, but Le'Veon gets cracked. Third down, gonna run into Gamble Le'Veon, and Le'Veon again gets stuck behind the line. That's gonna bring up a fourth down and two. We are gonna go for it right for the two minute warning. And Tim Tebow subbed into the game, and he just didn't he have to truck anybody, just follow the great blocks. And we end up getting a nice touchdown there. I really wanted to get a touchdown that drive because we were playing so well defensively. I felt like if we set up for two field goals, that kind of switches the momentum in his favor. So that was just a play that I felt like I had to go for. And Thankfully, you know, we got that play as we get a nice sack on first down. That's going to bring up a second down and super long. He's just trying to throw up lob streaks and stuff like that. Can't really get anything else going. You know, PA in the round's not working. Counters aren't working. So it's just lob streaks at this point. As third down and 23 comes up, he's going at night train again and Calvin and gets it to Mike. Evans to the 24 yard line 38 seconds left before halftime he runs hurry up but he's not going to escape Thomas Davis who is just wrecking havoc off the edge bringing up his second down and 18 and that's Richard Sherman with the pick that's still the 94 Sherman man that dude just balls I can't get rid of him that 94 Sherman just too damn nice you know who else is nice Odell Beckham Jr. burning the defense gonna out race Atwater that's an what, 79-yard touchdown with 19 seconds left. I knew, you know, didn't really have time to do much else, so I might as well take a shot downfield for OBJ in that 100 speed, taking the top off the defense. And once again, he's trying to go at Night Train, and there's Night Train's second pick of the game. Hit the deck for Mike Evans, but not for Night Train, who's trying to stay on his feet. Eventually brought down the 44-yard line. I only need a few more yards to get in the field goal range, but someone comes in practically unblocked, and that's going to be a sack. That's exactly what I did in once so right before halftime trying to get some wildcat action going like i got in the previous video but that one goes out of bounds to end the half but we do get ball coming out of half so we are you know kicking butt right now in this game and by the way this guy was a subscriber and he was talking through his connect so i don't know if you guys can hear that through the video but this guy is definitely you know trying to leave his two cents in right now his third down and seven comes up uh, i wanted 
I needed a little bit more time. This defensive line is getting some great, you know, block sheds and stuff like that coming through. So we pumped the ball, you know, up 17 nothing, and now up 19 nothing, just like that. We got a great punt to the four-yard line. That's why, you know, got to value that punting a little bit. You have to have some sort of punting skill, or you call it a skill, just knowing where to kick the ball, pooch the ball, I guess, because we were able to get some pressure, and all of a sudden it was a safety, and look at us going downfield for OBJ again, and OBJ is just killing it. He keeps on trying to press the, like, line, or um, the cornerbacks at the line of scrimmage. I'm like, all right, you want to do that? That's going to leave OBJ free to burn you because he's faster than you. I, I pretty much will guarantee OBJ is faster than whoever the hell you got on your team. Unless you got like Night Train Lane on there as we hit Le'Veon Bell. And look at Le'Veon Bell oh showing his God. toughness getting into the end zone. We have a 26 to nothing lead as he's just, you know, he's stuck right now. He can't face catch, you know. Once you can't face catch him, man, you're kind of stuck. But, you know, they do come through every once in a while. So you can just lob it up to your Vincent Jackson. You can get a few catches. You put Vincent Jackson on that left side because Mike Evans wasn't doing any work against Night Train, so he had to switch it up. As look at Colin Kaepernick. That's the that's the problem coming out man coverage because if the quarterback leaves, especially if you're running streaks, that's a 20 plus yard run right there. You see, he's trying to get frisky with Kaepernick, but he's gonna throw the pick God, to Calvin dang. Johnson. Just knowing that he's watching that left side, we get the pick with Calvin Johnson. And oh, Megatron was trying to make something more out of that play. I tried as hard as I could, but um. Eventually got brought down. We have a 26 nothing. We were absolutely dominating right now. This guy actually got. I, I was like listening sometime during the connect because usually I listen to music while I play the games. But I heard this guy talking on his connect, so I would pause the music whenever I hear him talking. And one one of the things he got mad at me about was I kept on throwing lob streaks. First of all, my dude was trying to face catch me all game, and my lob streaks were because Odell Beckham Jr. was you know beating him as I Thick Lane gets his third pick of the game, trying to make this one. A I want to get one touchdown with Night Train trying trying so hard. I'm trying to pull the double juke out here and all kinds of stuff. And, um, hey, you got mad at me for that. I'm like, really, though? Like, you first of all, you're a hypocrite. And second of all, I'm only doing it because OBJ is actually taking the top off, not to, like, face catch or anything like that. As we have all of the time in the world here for once, and we get OBJ. You know, we got that much time. Eventually, someone's going to break the zone. You just got to find out who it is. And that time, it was Odell. But that time, uh, we threw it into double coverage with Bo Jackson. Uh, you know, I'm at the goal line. I'm going to try to get passing touchdown with Bo take advantage of his all his great stats as Night Train just gets straight up burnt there my Mike Evans for whatever reason but um yeah and it didn't really matter I threw it in double coverage but um you know I'm trying to just make sure Night Train gets another pick here so I'm running man coverage throughout most of this game look at that press that what's running actually never mind I was like look at that press but actually a running play never mind about that as third down and 15 I'm double covering that man on the left side I don't know why I did that I should just let Night Train go one on one that was the whole point of running man eventually he's gonna get a touchdown here uh you know who gives a crap touchdown to I think Fitzgerald as I try to run some read option with Philip Rivers I want to try to catch him off guard and see if I can do that next play trying to catch him off guard again is Le'Veon Bell is the spin but not able to get anything more than that third down I mean this isn't really ice the game even though we get it if we don't get it, we're still up 19 points but eh, you know he can't you know stop us so I'm not trying I'm not really gonna try to run up the score here since it is a subscriber and all so we're just gonna I mean I'm trying to run plays trying to get a touchdown I'm not gonna like throw the ball and call my timeouts or anything like that and we're gonna run one more play here try to get one more spectacular play with Tim Tebow who actually fumbles the ball and that's gonna end the game so um, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the night train lane getting three picks in this game He definitely shut down that left side. He may have gotten like one or two catches But he learned his lesson that night train you don't exactly test that man So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed that subscribe for more Madden 15 ultimate team games eventually Madden 16 and I will catch you guys next time